Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to ESO proper. Now that the beta is over, this is the actual release of the game. The game actually comes out in about five days, but because we have the uh, Imperial Edition and the pre-ordering bonus, we get five days of early access, which is fantastic. Now, this is, that's what I actually want to do. I want to go through the uh, bonuses that we get for pre-ordering the game. So, why don't we go ahead and do that. Let's go through our mail. Here it is. Imga King Vanity Pet, you participated in the Elder Scrolls Online Beta, so you get a monkey pet. I guess we can use it. How do I, how do I get it? Uh, report item, I don't want to report item. Take attachments, fantastic. Let's go ahead and try it out. What will that be, miscellaneous? There it is, use. Am I, am I using? There's the monkey, that's the monkey. <laughs> it's adorable, just eating grass and scratching his butt. It works. Oh yeah, it works. <laughs> That's one of the pets you get. What other things are we gonna get? Explorers pack. Uh, for proportions in the game, you have received the Explorers package bonus features. So you can play any standard race in any alliance. Uh, your Scuttler or Benedict pet is attached. Your treasure maps are attached. Note that your treasure maps are bundled in alliance specific packages for your convenience. That is very convenient. Let's go ahead and take attachments. Alt to exit. And let's open this bad boy up. Scuttler. That's the scuttler. Not sure what that's supposed to mean. It's supposed to be. But it looks pretty dangerous. Looks like some sort of daedra or something. It's crazy. Oh, there's a red incoming. No! Oh, whoa. Total evasion right there, bro. Nice. <laughs> that's the scuttler. Let's go ahead and check out our maps. They will lead you to treasure. And, uh, I mean, that's pretty much it. Oh, there's treasure in Cold Harbor. That's cool. We are the Covenant, so let's go ahead and use this. There you go. So we got the Alakir Desert, Bankorai, Glenumbra, which is where we are right now. Take, 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 take. Awesome. There you go. So, if you don't know what they are, this is what it is. Um, it's supposed to just be like a clue to where you can find treasure, and then you go there and find it. It would probably be like rare or epic. I don't know. It would be kind of lame if it was just like well. I wouldn't say white, but you would want to be rewarded handsomely for something like this. Going out of your way to just find that treasure. You know, might as well. So that's one. Let's go into the back again. Exclusive digital content. Warning, the attached is a one-time redeemable item to give it to another one of your characters. Deposit it in your shared bank account. Access from your cities. Uh, do not delete a character when this item is in the inventory or it will be per permanently lost. That's bad. You have purchased the Imperial Edition. With it comes the exclusive digital content. Uh, yeah, we already know that we can play the Imperial in any alliance. Uh, you can convert most found or crafted items to the Imperial style, which is awesome. Your character can't purchase the Imperial Horse, which I'm going to show you guys in a sec. It's really good. And the Pledge of Mary is attached, which is this. Uh, convert armor and weapons in your inventory to the Imperial style by using the right click menu. The Imperial horse can be purchased from a stable for one gold. Uh, the Pledge of Mara can be used to bond your character to another while standing near a shrine of Mara. Both characters will be granted a ring of Mara that will grant an exper experience point bonus whenever the two adventure together while wearing the rings. This pledge may only be used one time. So let's go ahead and take attachments and I can show you it on the inventory. Although it's pretty much going to be the same thing it says there. Pledge commitment on sacred ground. This pledge bonds a single character to another. And it can only be used once. We'll go into the actual bonus later on once we're in the let's play. For now, just know that you can get that. Which is fantastic. What else can we get? You have purchased the Imperial Edition. With it comes exclusive digital content. Your Nivenai Mudcrab pet is attached. Let's go ahead and grab this bad boy. Pet Nivenai Mud Crab. There you go, Giblets. I think they get different names, which is kind of cool. I don't know, Giblets. That's not the dog, right? The dog is Giblets. Who's Giblets? No, the dog is Giblets. Mine is just. Oh, doesn't have a name. That's pretty sad. Curse you, man and rat. Chuck kill rat for that. There you go. <laughs> Fantastic. So that's that's your Mud Crab pet. They don't get any names apparently. That's pretty sad. Um, that's it. Now, I'll go ahead and show you guys the Imperial class alongside the Imperial traits. So, uh, this is an Imperial. Oh, by the way, one suggestion. Go ahead and, and, and save your names, guys. You know, if you if you have the uh, the early access, just go ahead and, and, and create characters with 
the names you want to say so no one takes them from you because you guys have a bad bad habit of taking my my rex name and i hate you guys for it so i'm here saving it so you guys can take it screw you guys and here we are with our imperial character let's make sure that yeah imperial dragon knight fantastic what do we have in the mail oh that's a notification friend invite someone wants to be my friend awesome all right uh let's just not go through that so uh skills Racial. These are the racial bonuses that you get for being an Imperial. So I want to show you guys, just in case you didn't buy the Imperial Edition, this is what you're missing out on. Shield Affinity. Increases experience gained with one-handed and shield skill line by 15%. Tough is just max health. Conditioning, max stamina, and red diamond, which is uh, healing on attack. So it seems to be very melee oriented, although you can argue that just having the toughness and conditioning, you can just level these two up with any class and it'll work out. So... But it just seems to me that it's very melee oriented. But this is the Imperial, so you can do that. You can make the Imperial and play it on any alliance. You can also just pretty much make any race and play it on any alliance if you uh, if you have the Imperial Edition, which is fantastic. All right, now I'll show you guys the horse. The awesome, awesome, cheap Imperial horse. And I'll show you more specifically why it is so great. If I actually find a person to sell it for me. Is it you? You look all grumpy. Orky Grumpy. Beer style. Alright, beer stable. Psst, not style. <laughs> Imperial Horse won gold. I want you guys to take this in. Look at the difference. You would normally have to pay 17,000 gold to get the lamest horse ever. Okay. There you go. Imperial Horse. Bye. Let's go ahead and show you guys how it looks. You, uh, If you played the beta, then I'm pretty sure that you could just use it. This is the horse that you could get in the beta. Where are you? I guess, can I just use it? Yeah, I guess I can just use it. There you go. That's uh, that's the horse. If you play the beta, then you're already very familiar with, familiar with it. Otherwise, you are pretty screwed. You're gonna have to pay top dollar for the other horses. So there you go. Now, the last thing I guess I have to show you all is the, uh, the Pledge of Mara. So here we are at the Shrine of Mara, where we're gonna make the the bond this looks like a serious serious commitment and apparently it is so whatever character you choose to make the commitment to uh it'll stay it, you cannot break it there's no way for you to break it and it only accounts for the characters that you're using it does not bind to the account so uh after we do the bond if we want to change characters well they will not get the bonus anymore which is a shame and there's yeah there's no way to break it and the rings are just gonna have each other's name so let's go ahead and try it out. Uh, first things first, I understand it that you need to put the uh, Pledge of Mara on quick slot. I'm not sure how to do that. So let's press Q, put it in there. There you go. By accepting the Pledge of Mara, you will receive a ring inscribed with Jexy Ash's name. name. When you wear the ring and group with Ash, Jexy Ash, you will gain a 10% bonus experience. Do you pledge commitment to... Yep, I yeah. do that. And that's what happens. So now we should get a 10% bonus uh, experience whenever we quest on the same group. Now, um, as far as I understand it, and as far as a customer a customer rep says, it doesn't matter how far you are from each other. As long as you're on the same group, you will level up quicker. So we don't even have to do the same quest and it should work. Gain experience bonus when adventuring with your partner. Both characters must have partaking in the ceremony, Ring of Mara. Now, the one drawback of this ring is the fact that it consumes a ring slot, which means that uh, you'll have to sacrifice an actual ring that would give you stats otherwise. And that is the trade-off. You trade off some combat bonuses for the ability to level up quicker. And as I said, you cannot dis well, you can dispose of it, but you can't undo the ceremony. You can't change characters with it. It's it's done, and that's it. It'll have your partner's name on it, so her ring should say uh, should say my name, I guess. It does. So there you go. Created by Jexy Ash, and then she should say created by Rex or something, and that's about it. Um, anything else that you get from the. Uh, from the bonus, I'm pretty sure that's it. Um, also, have in mind that I'm playing this five days early in advance because uh, I pre-purchased, so that's uh, another bonus. But besides that, that's it, guys. 
Hope you all enjoyed this short little video about the bonuses that you receive and hope it was in informative enough 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 Jesus Christ hope you guys enjoyed remember to like favorite and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time Thank you.